Grand Chancellor Harcourt gave a small cry when his major domo burst into the room. Pressing a lace handkerchief to his lips, Harcourt tried to calm himself. An update? The major domo lowered his eyes, wringing his hands together. It's the six winds, sire. They're here. Say it isn't so, Harcourt whimpered, collapsing into a delicate chair. Not, not them. I wish it were otherwise. The Grand Chancellor blotted at a sheen of sweat on his brow. Are, are the Praetorians making any difference? Not in the least. They're just singers, he complained. Just bards. Bards can't do this. Bards are neutral, but they... The Major Doma went to the window, but the view quickly made him pull away. That celestial diva has them all entranced. Grand Chancellor Harcourt sobbed and bit his rouge to lower lip. They can't be killers. This isn't possible. His bladder threatened to drain. I've done nothing to deserve their attention. Outside, the dragon leader of Six Winds roared, his voice enhancing that of the divas. Walls shook beneath the auditory onslaught. Both men covered their ears and cringed in pain. No escape, the diva sang out. Death to betrayers of balance. Harcourt whimpered as his bladder let go. The chill of death accompanied her song, and the Grand Chancellor felt the end of his days. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share with others. Social media links are below in the description. See you next time.